So brand new Fire TV update that automatically removes your applications if it detects that your device is running low on space. Now this might seem like a okay feature at first, but what does this mean when it comes to your third party application? So this video, we are gonna talk a little bit about the new update for Amazon Fire TV. It is the app offload feature. We're gonna talk about what this could mean for your third party applications and also how to go ahead and disable it. So before we jump into it, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So over the past month or so, we've seen a lot of concern, a lot of questions, a lot of chaos surrounding this new update. So what's new in this update? So the auto offload feature to optimize device storage comes to the Fire TV, shows a picture of the Fire TV 4K or 4K Max and newer ones. Um, here's how it works. If your device is low on storage, auto offload will partially remove some apps that haven't been used on the device in the past 60 days without deleting your login credentials. When you want to use an offloaded app later, the app will be reinstalled for you along with restoring your login credentials for the app just like it was never removed. And it gives you the location when to go ahead and disable it. Just read the explanation here. It seems like Amazon is gonna remove part or some of the applications. So I myself haven't played with this feature. It isn't, it hasn't seen it much in the US. I don't think anyone in the US have seen this feature. So I guess my, my question about this is once that app is in that state where it's partially removed, does it still show the icon? For instance, if Sling TV deemed was not used in 30 days, will the icon still be there? So essentially when I click on it, does it just automatically reinstall or will it completely remove the application? And now when I want Sling TV, I have to go back in the actual app store, find it and reinstall it myself with the credentials being restored. So let me know your experience with this. Seems like not a lot of folks in the US have seen this feature. So maybe someone overseas can elaborate more of what their experience is. So having said that, when the app is removed, it's stored somewhere in the Amazon cloud, whatever the case is. Well, let's say it's a third party application that Amazon deletes it or partially deletes it. Where is this application going? Are they holding on to it? Do they keep it in the cloud or do they just delete it completely? So hopefully that's something I, I get to play with, but I don't see Amazon keeping your third party application secured for you. Luckily, this feature can be disabled. If you go to your settings, go to My Fire TV about and go to storage auto offload then you can go ahead and turn it on and off so the other thing is this feature is automatically turned on by default once the update arrives so if you haven't received the update as of yet keep an eye out for it because when it's pushed to your device it will be on and unless you go in there and disable it it will be turned on so keep your eye on this update it should be coming soon once it arrives here in the us i will go ahead and um, let you guys know how this exactly work this is something obviously i don't trust but if you already receive it i strongly recommend that you go ahead and disable this feature so that's it for this video if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one